Hello, just a quick video today. I wanted to invite everyone to some hands-on workshops that we're doing at the upcoming IEEE Radar Conference in Denver, Colorado. So if you've been watching my videos and thinking, I'd love to get my hands on that phased ray radar hardware, but it's out of stock or I can't afford it, or I want to try before I buy, then this is your chance to experience it firsthand. There's actually gonna be four events that I'm involved with during that week in May. They're all hands-on and they're all very practical. I'll run through those quickly. But before anyone asks, these events are only going to be live. They will not be streamed and they will not be recorded to YouTube. So if you want to participate, you will need to travel to Denver and you will need to register in advance at the IEEE conference link shown. The conference is not free, but before any cynics from the internet comment, I do not receive any money or compensation for doing or promoting these workshops. In fact, I also have to pay the full price for the conference, just, just like everybody else. But I will be there the entire week, so if you are going to attend and you want to talk about a project you have or anything that you've seen in my videos, please reach out to me on LinkedIn and we can find a time to sit down and talk about those things. But the four events that I will be involved with are number one, the Radar Bootcamp, where I'll have 15 phasers set up and we will walk through a bunch of cool labs on phased array beamforming and radar. Then the next day, I'll be doing a deeper dive phased array workshop, again, using those 15 phaser setups. So, so you'll be able to get hands-on experience with phased array beamforming principles. And then that afternoon, I'll be part of a workshop on adaptive beamforming, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. And then finally, there is a judged session of several teams that have been given a phaser, and we're going to see what other cool things they have done with it. So it'll be things like passive radar, SAR imaging, uh, some target tracking, uh, those those kinds of things. So uh, Monday's going to be a busy day, um, and here's a little bit more on those four activities. The first one is this radar boot camp. I went to the Radar Bootcamp last year and it was excellent. Great speakers, all experts in their field and great topics. You can find the agenda at the link above, but it starts with Radar Basics, then goes to Estimation and Detection. It goes through some phased array principles, uh, STAP and adaptive beamforming concepts, uh, things like Radar Imaging, uh, Target Estimation and Tracking. And then finally, it concludes with a two-hour hands-on session that Dr. Matt Ritchie from University College London and myself will present. Matt is a great presenter and communicator and very experienced with building and researching these radar systems. So we'll have 15 phasers set up in the room. So we'll do an hour of phased array beamforming labs and then an hour of radar labs. So you get to spend some nice time with a phaser kit. And in fact, the radar labs will be very similar to what we're doing right now in the build your own drone tracking radar series. So if you wanted to experience that, but didn't want to buy a phaser kit, then this really is a perfect opportunity. And then the beamforming labs will be things like beam formation and array pattern, side lobes and tapering, and things like monopulse tracking. I've done these hands-on workshops before, and they're a lot of fun, and people seem to get a lot out of them. But this will probably be my last time doing it. It's just a lot of work to set up and put everything together. So if you wanted to go, then I hope that you'll go this year. Also, Radar Bootcamp is a standalone event, so you do not need to register for the entire conference. That means it is just $200 or only $50 if you're a student. So that's a really great value for two days of solid instruction by a great cast of presenters. Then on Monday morning, I'll be joined by Mark and Tarun. Many of you may know Mark already from his outstanding free online textbook, PySDR.org. He is also the VP of the GNU Radio Project. Tarun is doing the PhD program at Virginia Tech and is focusing on these beamforming systems. Both Mark and Tarun are outstanding presenters and very hands-on. They take a concept and then they implement that concept with real hardware. So I'm looking forward to doing this workshop with them. The workshop will be a more in-depth tour of phased array beamforming principles. So for the Radar Bootcamp, we'll cover as much as we can on phased arrays in about an hour, but this will be a three-hour workshop just on beamforming concepts. So we can cover more and we can go deeper into the things that we do cover. And so we'll be able to tackle things like null steering and doing full antenna scans. And it will also be with the 15 phaser setup. So everyone will have a workspace to try out these principles and see them operate firsthand. Again, this is probably my last time doing this workshop. Uh, again, it's just a lot of stuff to set up and whatever. So if you wanted a good look at phaser or wanted uh, some experience on some of these beamforming concepts, then try to make it to this event this year. After that workshop, we're doing another one, but this one will be a first ever hands-on adaptive beamforming workshop. So this one is pretty exciting. All new workshop, we've never done it before. 
And our target audience is those that are new to adaptive processing principles. The idea with adaptive processing is we can adaptively cancel out jammers and interferers as they dynamically appear. It's a very cool concept, but the math behind it is just crazy. It's a very sharp learning curve for anyone new to the topic. It's stuff like covariance matrices and Hermitian operators and, and concepts like uh, Wiener filters and NVDR and Capon beamforming. DOA and other algorithms like music are in there too. So it's just a, a ton of concepts that most people aren't normally exposed to. Or if you do see some of them, they often tend to get jumbled together and it's very easy to get confused on what is what. So we're gonna start with the very, very basics and work our way up from there. And we'll again be doing hands-on laps, but this time it will be with a 16 element all digital beamforming array. And we're gonna walk through the adaptive beamforming algorithms and try them out on real data from that array. This is the first time we've ever put something like this together, and I really hope that it will help people new to this field. And for this workshop, Mark Troon and I will be joined by Mike from Angerol. Mike is a longtime expert on STAP and adaptive digital beamforming, and also a really great presenter. I met Mike last year at the conference, and I convinced him to do this workshop with us, so you'll really enjoy hearing from him and all the experience he has with digital adaptive beamforming systems. And then finally, on Monday evening, we will be concluding our six month long radar challenge event. This is the first time we've ever done a radar challenge like this. But basically last October, we asked teams to submit an abstract on some cool project idea that they could do with the phaser kit. And then we selected several of those abstracts and sent them a free phaser board with the condition that they would do something cool with it and then present what they had done at the conference and present it in a way that others could follow their work and even add on to it. So I'm very excited to see what they've accomplished. The topics for the teams vary quite a bit, but they include things like SAR imaging, micro Doppler, uh, weather radar, uh, drone and naval tracking, uh, and things like passive radar. So this should be very interesting to see the projects and talk with the team members. I think you'll gain ideas and inspirations from them, as well as perhaps a head start on your own project as they share their process and their code with us. So Monday will be a very busy day, but later that week, if you are attending the conference and want to talk about any of this or have some project that you have going on, then please connect with me on LinkedIn and let's try to find a time to sit down for a bit. I'll put all of these links in the description, so please check those out for more information, and I hope to see you in May.